So here I just added an overlay layer. Uh, this is how I do a lot of my panel lines, at least to start off with. So add an overlay. Pick kind of a. Uh, first, I just kind of draw a couple panel lines actually in there. Pick a color, kind of a medium color, um, either from the. Either just grab it from the image, or usually I'd go with a gray, and you know around 50% uh, black white, 50% gray. And then when you draw an overlay, you can see it actually doesn't really show up so well. I, I like to do a couple different uh, panel lines, just a couple different angles. And then when you go in to the layer style here, go to bevel and emboss, and have the direction of the bevel be down. You can adjust the angle here, the highlight mode, the shadow mode, and I like to pick colors then from, I'm using the, the color grabber there just to pick um, light and dark color, just adjust them a little bit. You can see how the panel lines now are showing up on the legs. And so just letting the, the program do the shadowing and the, the highlights here on the little panel lines. So I'm actually painting in that 50% gray with the overlay. And I like to use the overlay then because it you still maintain some of the lighting behind it, behind the panel lines, um, rather than doing like uh, you know having the, the layer style be normal or whatever. Then you have to do a lot more lighting manually. But as overlay it picks up more lighting under underneath, you'll still you'll still need to go back in and and. Uh, you know, erase away or or do another layer of details on top of panel lines um, like this, just in order to get them to look right with the lighting. Because it it does a great job of kind of doing things quickly, but uh, in order to get it to to fully match the lighting, you're gonna have to go and just kind of massage things there. So there, I just selected everything on the knee and used um, I said have it set up to Control W in Photoshop, and I'm just warping it. So here, just doing the free form. Uh, translation, I think it's called. And then, then on top of that, I just do my warp and make it so the panel lines fit this knee. And I'll need to do some cleanup on there, but it gives me a good base. So here I'm going in, and I just use the uh, the burn tool just just to make that darker, or the dodge tool, whichever one, and. Uh, that way, you know, you don't have to go in and repaint things or whatever, but it just it darkens it up so that it matches the lighting happening on that, on that knee. So you can see, when you use a thicker brush, how the panel lines, um, how the panel lines can look, you know, how they're how they're like larger sections that are pushed in. So it's just you know varying that up. Um, it's nice. So here, just selecting it, adding it, adjusting it so it works with perspective a little bit better here. Well, that's definitely way too bright for that section. That's not better, so you can adjust my opacity so it's not quite so strong matches the lighting better of the of the render in that section of the model in that section. Here I'm just adding some line variation, some some other little details around here. So a lot of times when I am adding these panel lines, I'll kind of look at just where the lights falling on the forms, um, or, or where there it looks like there might be some implied panel line or something. Um, also think about you know if this thing were real and was actually being constructed, where might you know they want to have different sections on the actual uh, on the actual object. Just kind of bouncing around, adding detail. It's a pretty quick way to add detail. It's kind of fun to do too. I 
didn't quite match the perspective, so I had to adjust that. So you can really see, we've got some strange artifacts happening on the upper thighs. The render was a little, a little wacky there, so I'll definitely have to go in and kind of paint over that, fix it. You can see the those large thigh plates with this perspective definitely get distorted. They look pretty small, but I think it works okay. His knees are supposed to be bent, and it's kind of from a low angle. You get to see those cool blue fin things inside of there, so I think it works fine.